Hello guys. Here's now. Just let, okay, I'm gonna review the Hunger Games. So I've been kind of starved for movies this year, yeah, but the partnership is kind of it just uh, is going on slowly here, and I'm mostly paying to see these movies out of pocket. So let's get started on the review. I really like this movie. I mean, I just got back from seeing it, yeah, in about oh, 45 minutes ago. Oh, and I really he liked it. It's not a bit surprising since I was a bit of a fan of the book. Oh, crap. Yeah, don't want to get it sold or anything. Back. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think one, yes, I really like how, how well they adapted the book. Like, I mean, it was, it was just going, the book itself was just going in, just going out, there's a moment it went in our library. So, like, it was just wait before it came out, they got to read it. Right, well, the thing I like most about this movie and the book, so for all intents and purposes, it's an anti-Twilight. Yeah, I think it's a good time for that. Hunger Games is a bit of an anti-Twilight. Right, right, they, I mean... Katniss, yes, I really like this girl, oh, oh, this young woman, and that she's strong, oh, she's clever, clever, she's fast, and that's everything, you know, because Bella Swan isn't. And, and I'm not going to apologize for the Twilight Times. I mean, I hate those movies, I hate those books. Because they are, because even those books, I mean, you don't want to get off track. Let's talk about the movie itself. Of it, it has where the United States once stood is where is now how how the country of Panem, where you have these twelve districts that, districts that once had an uprising against the capital. In response, and because the uprising failed, punishment was the Hunger Games, which is where one oh man one um, person and young um, and young a woman one, one man and one woman aged eighteen and twenty four. I must participate in them and fight to the death until only one remains. So it's sort of like this Battle Royale, Burning Man type movie. But, but what makes what the, what the decision they said to make here, to make it, it, it more intense, is that they reduce the ages from 12 to 18. I think it's a him a brutal. I mean, these are just kids. Just you know, off, off now and not, not really just young. Um, you made it even younger than before. I mean, where conflict takes place, anyway, main conflict takes place in District 12, which is really where uh, the, the Appalachian Mountains of Colorado once stood. And uh, Primrose Everdeen gets chosen, so but his sister Katniss has, has goes and volunteers in her stead. And I uh, really like how they spent a lot of time building up, up, up the movie. I mean, what it gets to is about how uh, they spend about an hour and a half just building up the games, like games, games that, games that they have the have the, the details of the uprising. And they show all the contestants come in. They and they build up how oh, they gotta get have them to like the responses to so the training in ceremonies. It's how important it is to just find a piece of bread and uh, where uh, they may impossible to really farm anything. And, and, they really put a lot of details in that. And, and by the way, and essentially, and then the last 50 minutes of the movie will be pretty much let's loose as a brutality of it. I'm actually surprised at the, how, how bloody and brutal some of the conflict it, and the fights are uh, for a PG-13. So that's going to be one of two movies Movies. It's gonna be one of the two movies that helps change the conditions of the MPAs. It means just um, the other being the documentary Bully, which I may talk about out later. <coughs> and I definitely like the another thing I really liked about this film was the design of it all. I mean, put a lot of work in the costumes, the hairstyles, the sets, and it's the effects, and it was all on a, on a much lower budget than most movies. These are the type. A bit about it's about eighty million dollars, and because his Lion Gates ha he put so much behind this movie, it's a quickly become in the highest grossing ever. I hear that uh, it's still breaking box office records. It was 
It's <sighs> sorry about that. Speed he 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 the three stooges is is and is and and the cabin cabin in the woods. This is my last as of this filming right now. Sorry. I'm feeling kind of sick heck, these past few days. So sorry if I don't sound right. It, it, yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, and really, I think it's a movie people are going to remember for a very long time. It's going to be one of the movies that they're going to keep talking about out in the years following its release. Hey, it's just it's like how a book has taken off, off and done so many great things and it's broken so many records. I mean, it's very, I mean, it's very early and all I think it's one of the best movies of the year. Yeah. So, with all this said, when I went to my birth, I'm going to give it at a perfect 4 out of 4 stars. Here's. Here's. Yep. Here's and I'm going to try and fight off whatever I have here. And, Guardian, Guardian, the other movie just said, I've been checking show times. Trying to scrounge up enough money for tickets, and it's, and it's pretty much declared that the Lorax is not going to happen. Whether they have been dropping screens from it, and it passes the 200 million mark. I think that's as high as it's going to get. That means the only any movies you might see before uh, uh, the uh, the Pirates comes out. Uh, it's the last big movie be movie before uh, the Avengers. Those head theaters. This is Titanic 3D. Okay, so. You might see something like that if I still feel like that, but I don't know. Anyway, that's that's all I have to say right now. I'll leave your comments in the box below, and I will see you later.